Well, much of the criticism of the president's economic plan is that we're paying for it with debt and more debt. Who feels the pinch of all of this barring down the line? Well, your kids and my kids, which is why I'm not leaving a cent for my kids. One kid who says the situation scares the hell out of him is Zach Howell. Zach is a senior at the University of Utah. He's a regional vice chair of the college Republican National Committee. So, Zach, not too happy. Why not? Well, uh, we're looking at adding several trillion dollars of new debt with a nominal cost of this bill is $787 billion, as stated. But if you add the interest... We're piling $3.27 trillion of new debt on future generations when the Congressional Budget Office, who our lawmakers are supposed to be listening to, admits that the bill will have a net negative impact over the next decade. So it looks like to me like we're spending a lot of money for not a whole lot. All right, but Zach, I know you're a young Republican. Um, you know, Republicans were spending willy-nilly too. Republicans piled mm -hmm. up deficit upon deficit and... You know, a, a $300 billion Medicare prescription program that turned into a yeah. trillion dollar prescription program. So I think there's uh, a lot of big spending going on by both parties, right? Absolutely. I mean, the Republicans definitely lost uh, some of their moral authority over the last 10 years. So what do you think uh, of how they're acting now, spending, Zach? But, well, I'm, I, I was proud last week to see every single Republican vote against that bill. Uh, the, you know, I think the Republican in, in the Party House, is In the House, it, three yeah, did not well, in the right, Senate, and, right. Right. Unfortunately, not in the Senate. But uh, I, I was very proud as a Republican to see uh, at least the House members and the vast majority of the senators stand up and say that this is a bad idea and that it's going to future, uh, saddle future generations with enormous debt on top of what, the enormous debt they already have. So, so. What, 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 what do young folks like yourself feel if we get through this? I can either by the government or by just sheer, you know, market forces, we come out of this, as we always do. Um, mm -hmm. And, and people who were fans of this big government package say, well, it was us. It was us. And those, right. those greedy Republicans were obstructionists and stopped us every step of the way. Well, what, what would you say? Right. Well, I mean, it could go both ways. This thing could make the economy worse. Um, but inevitably, that people are going to be taking credit and, and laying blame on both sides. I think, uh, I think we'll just have to make the case that... that you know, fiscal discipline was always a better idea, and that uh, a crisis caused by massive debt couldn't possibly have been fixed by massive debt. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, there's going to be an argument about that. I, regardless of how it turns out politically, though, it's good to see the party, the Republican Party, taking a stand for what's right. All right, so. Zach Cal, thank you very, very much. Thank you.